Okay, class, let us all stand and let us pray first. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Good morning, class. Now, class, let me introduce myself. My name is Teacher Merloy Babista. I'm 21 years old and I'm currently living in San Miguel, Santa Tomas, Batangas. Now, class, before we proceed, may I ask everybody to please pick up the pieces of trash in our room. So, in five seconds, I want you to put them on a trash can. So, in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you may take your seat. So our, for top, so, our topic for today is about force of motion, the magnetic. The magnetic. Yeah. So, today, class, you are expected to number one, sort objects that are attracted to magnets. Number two, describe the properties of each them that is attracted to a magnet. And number three, determine what types of metals are magnetic. So what is magnetism? So magnetism is a force that acts on objects made of nickel, iron, and cobalt. So magnetism is a force that acts on objects made of nickel, iron, and cobalt and make them move. So to find out the materials that are attracted to a magnet, let us do some activity. So class, I have an object in this brown paper bag. I won't tell you what it is, but you can ask questions about, uh, about it in order to guess what it is, okay? So the game um, we're going to play is called 10 questions. Now, on the sheet in front of you, write down questions you would like to ask. And remember, you cannot ask what it is, but you can ask about what it does and what it looks like. Now, go on. Done, class? Would anyone like to ask questions about the mystery object? Okay, so for that, Let's create a list of the characteristics of the mystery object. I, I challenge each of you to figure out something um, the object can do without opening the bag. Since we don't know exactly what it is, it would be safe um, to stay at our desk and to experiment to get you started Try and see if it makes a certain noise that could help you figure out what it is. No? Go! Okay, so would anyone like to discuss what they discovered about the object? Anyone? Yes, Michelle. Okay, very good. It's stuck to your desk. Anyone else? None? Okay. So, from this, what would you guess from your observations or hypotheses? So, the object is magnet. Very good, class. Now, what types of magnets have you seen? Yes, Mike? Yes, magnets on our refrigerator. So, like this one. Okay. So, what's stuck to a magnet around your seat? So, for the next two minutes in your groups, figure out the types of magnets will stick to. Done class? Now what did your magnet stick to? Okay, very good. So the object was stuck on your desk up and metal tumbler and 
metal sharpener. Okay, very good flex. So, the object was stuck to your tumbler and metal sharpener. So, magnets appear. So, magnets appear to stick to metals, but does it include all metals? What do you think? Okay, so at your desk, create a list of possible hypotheses concerning the type of metals a uh, magnet will stick. So again, would anyone like to ask, share, or would anyone like to share their thoughts? Anyone? Okay, can you speak to the class and share your thoughts, Mika? Okay, thank you. You may take your seat now. Okay, class. So this bag contains object that will and won't stick to a magnet. So in your groups, sort things, objects that stick and things that don't stick. Class. Now, which object stacks to the magnet and which is not? Okay, very good. Were you surprised that by any of the objects you tested? Yes, the rock was a surprisingly magnetic, right? So, the question is what do objects that stack to the magnet have in common? So for that, a magnet is an object that possesses the ability to attract contained objects. Magnetism is a strong attractive force exhibited by the magnet. So the materials that always sticks to a magnet is iron. Let me show you. Is iron. So the rule is, if a magnet sticks to an object, there is an iron or steel in it. Steel. So steel is a metal made primarily of iron and can be found in indoor handles, staples, paper clips, and weaponry. Now we know magnets sticks to objects made of iron. There is a term for the magnet sticking to an object called Liberty and brass, a metal consisting of copper and zinc, 
and is used in musical instruments, brass instruments, and furniture. Objects made from iron are attracted to magnets. Is aluminum attracted to a magnet? No. How about brass? Okay, no. Very good. Since they do not know, um, since they do not, we know that these metals do not contain iron. Now that we know that generally objects, these magnets, when they contain iron, why do you think um, the rock stuck to the magnet? Anyone? Okay, yes, that's right. The rock must contain iron. So the rock is made up of a, of a mineral which contains a large amount of iron. In fact, the name of the rock is called magnetite because it is magnetic. Did you get class? No. Now we know that magnets um, identify iron objects. I'm giving all of you a challenge as iron detectors. Your job is to find objects in the room that has iron in them. Okay? Okay. So the magnet could erase data on this and computers because they're made with magnetic mineral. You have, um, you will have five minutes to find objects that contain iron. Done, class. Okay, now what proves that these objects are made of steel or iron? Yes, Christian. Yes, because it's stuck to a magnet. Um, were there any objects you thought had steel or iron in it? Yes, Chris? Okay, thank you. You may take your seat. Okay, class. Um, experiment with um, what the magnets can do with each other make them talk make them move on on the desk using the other using the under the desk and or thread magnets or a pencil now you will get a chance to show what you have learned today okay done class all right now that you have learned your lessons you're ready to move on to the next step Okay, so for the evaluation, I provided the worksheets for you to answer. Done, class? Okay, please pass your papers now. Okay, so class, for your assignment. Okay, so for your assignment. Number one, choose the things that are magnetic. So for the number two to three, and number two to five. Um, a circle if it's true or false. Yes. So do you have any questions? Clarifications? None? Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you. And remember that you are really doing well. So continue to try and do your best. So that's all for today, class. Goodbye. Thank you.